All right guys, so what I wanna to talk to you about today is my anchor trolley. So as you remember in a previous video, I set up the retractable clothesline up underneath it, got paracord set up, and so I have it sitting over there on the other side. It works great going forward, but every time I wanna run it off the back and put it on the anchor trolley, um, it's kinda of tough, you know, I'm constantly feeding it underneath the seat. And so for a quick fix, what I did was I took a piece of my slide track here and I mounted it right up on top of the seat. Uh, which we talked about in the video where I put my uh, my drink holder there on the side and The only quick th way to fix this was I just put one of my extra bolts right here So it's not really working out. It's kind of in the way. It's just not really a good system to do it So what I want to do today is I want to unhook that piece from where I normally hook it We'll just clip it right here For the time being and then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna loosen this nut and so you can see all I was really using is just my little slide track piece and uh, I had all kinds of washers and nuts. It just wasn't the right way of doing it. So what I did do is today I picked up the Yak Attack tie down kit. So essentially it's an eye bolt. It has the slide track nut on the bottom and then it's got this piece right here so I can hand tighten it as well. So this way I can actually clip to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide that guy in. See if I can get her to go in there. Let me spin that around. It looks like that one little piece is hanging there. There we go. Alrighty. So we'll slide this into that slide track. We'll tighten it down. And now I've got that anchor point right here. It's smooth, it's round, there's no way a line can get hung on it or anything like that. I can now take my clip and I can hook it right there to that and then all the extra line will be pulled back into the retractor. Uh, quick and easy way of doing that. Um, this way, every time I gotta feed my line, it's already sitting there ready for me. Um, great way of doing that. So I'm very excited. That's gonna work out easy. It was a quick $9 fix to a little bit of a problem that I had and it's just gonna make it that much easier for me. Um, all right guys, so that's your tip for today. Uh, we're gonna move on to a couple other videos and knock some of those out so you can kind of uh, see what's going on this week. We talked about earlier in the in the preview to the week that I got a couple things coming up. I got some videos on underwater footage of lures. We're going to do those and then also I'm going to show you a couple tips on setting up your GPS because we just got done putting the X mount or the X grip on there and we just got done putting the GPS shader. So now I'm going to walk you through a couple ways to kind of set up your GPS. All right, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up, comment below on what you'd like to see, and don't forget, go ahead and hit that subscribe button over in the corner. All right, until next time, guys, thanks.